Hello everyone, in this video I am going to create character Laura dataset using AI video model. Yes, you heard that right, AI video model. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they talk about consistent characters and character sheets, how you build one character with different angles of image and flux, then crop those images as dataset. Today I got some inspiration from one of this WAN 2.1 Laura to generate rotate 360 degrees video using image to video and it's super easy to do this using just one image to create the character data set for your flux character laura data set in this video here's what i'm going to do we're using one 2.1 and we can take just one image from the starting frames like right here and generate a full 360 degree rotation of the character standing then we capture the different angles of the character. You save those images from the video and boom, you've got your character dataset. Of course, you can go back to Flux or you can use this as the LoRa model dataset in WAN 2.12 if you want to build your own character LoRa there. And it works the same way in Flux. Just generate the image frames, save all those frames as separate images, build the dataset and then train your own character LoRa. By the way, for Flux character Lore training, you can check out this video. It show how to use your image dataset and Flux gym to train your own character Laura. So let's say we have this example. I'm going to try another example to show you how this feature works. Let's try another image so you can fully understand. First off, we need to download the 360 degree rotation Laura model using WAN 2.1. Right here, we've got it on civitai.com where you can download the LoRa model. Use the trigger words in here, the rotation 360 degrees trigger word in your text prompt. You'll also need to prepare one front-facing image of the character, like the example I just showed here. Then we start generating the figure video with different rotations. That way we get the front and back of the character already, save all those image frames and build our own dataset. Let's say I have another image of this character. Let's say I've got this dancer right here. We can build using this and go to 1.2.1. This is a very simple 1.2.1 image to video workflow. You can download it from comfui.org. They've got a blog post about it. I'll also share this workflow in the description below so you guys can try it out. So in here, I add the LoRa model, of course, You'll need these nodes to enable the LoRa model to connect with WAN 2.1. Starting from here, we've got a very simple text prompt. Actually, you don't need to change anything here. You can use this text prompt as a template. You can start rotating anything 360 degrees. In the previous example here, I generated a two second video, but of course I used frame interpolation. So I ended up with a five second length. But if you set this back to 81 frames, then you get the more rotations. In the previous example, I just set it to 69 frames, which was enough for me to capture the front, side view, and back view of the character. If you want more frames to capture the character, set the length higher in here, image to video, which means you'll get a longer video with more rotation. Let's try this one, 81 frames. Generate that using frame interpolation as well to smoothen each frame in between. Come back here. Make sure you've got the clip visions loaded properly before you run this. And then I choose my clip visions correctly. Make sure all the file names are the same and we're basically ready to go. So let's say I click generate. Before that, we've got to make a little change for the case sampler. You see some hints here. Guidance scale, make sure it's at six, lower strength at one and flow shift at five. So make sure you've got that right in the workflow and you're ready to go. But I want to set the sampling steps a bit higher here. Let's make it 30. That way we'll get a little better quality for the image generation. All right, let's generate this and try it out. Okay, so we've got the generated result here. As you can see, the character is rotating 360 degrees and sometimes the background is broken or morphing. It doesn't matter because at this moment, we're just focusing on the character. Is it able to maintain a consistent style? Are all the clothing, outfit, jacket, pants, shoes, hairstyle, all of it, is it coherent? That's all we need. If you want to totally remove the backgrounds, as we talked about in the previous videos, you can use matte anything, and that's where these nodes come in. 
For this, we're going to remove the background and let's say make it white or just one solid color for the background. That way you'll have a very consistent character dataset built for this one image. For example, let's say you've used an image generator to create an image of a character and you like it. You want to use this character continuously with your Flux LoRa or even SDXL LoRa for the character. What you'll do is, starting from one image like this, you use one 2.1 image to video. And especially, we need this 360 degree LoRa model to generate just one video like this, 360 degrees rotation. Then we move to the next step, which is remove the backgrounds if you need to and put a solid color background at the end. So the next step is taking this video output and removing the backgrounds. We're left with only the character as the data set that we need. Then we put a solid background behind it, or you can use a transparent background. After we recolor the removed backgrounds, you can add your own designed background colors or whatever background you want for your data set. And that way, I've done another part here, which is on the right side. I did use the remove background method. Here, you can see each frame that I've captured and generated as an image for each angle of the character. As you can see, some of them are okay, some are not clear. So you've got to cherry pick each background for each image with different angles of your character depending on the rotation of each angle. Maybe just like this one, it's good for making the back view of the character as the character Laura. And like this one, it's good for the side view for the character Laura as well. This time, I've used InspireNet for doing the remove background and used a transparent background for this one. That way, I can clearly show the image preview of how it looks in this image grid and see each angle of the characters like that to cherry pick which angles are good for the dataset. Of course, here we've got 161 frames, you're not going to use all of that, so you've got to cherry pick each angle, see what kind of angles are good for your character LoRa dataset, pick the good ones, and save them. Just right click the image and save it into your folder. Prepare for the next step. If you want to train in Flux LoRa, bring it to Flux LoRa to train your own LoRa model. I've also talked about Mad Anything in the previous videos. That works too. So I've put both methods here. Whichever one you prefer, you can use that as well. This one will be putting the solid background colors because it has the background color code for you to configure here. And this one is based on segment anything to mask out the first frame of the character. As I mentioned before in the previous videos, I'll just leave this here bypassed. If I want to use solid background colors, I'll use this. If not, I'll use a transparent background like this. I save it as a PNG file. I can always try to pick a good angle and do that as well. So that's the different angles of the characters. There's a mask as well. You can use it just for reference to see what kind of mask area or masking regions are being processed. But you don't need this for your LoRa training for the character. So focus on this part. It's good enough to pick a good angle of the image, uh, you know, different angle shots of your character, whichever one is good. A lot of LoRa models when we were using back in the day in Flux or Stable Diffusion had issues with the backside, the back view of the characters. Especially like this part. When you generate an image and bring it to image to video, a lot of times it loses consistency at the back view of the character. So I'd suggest having different angles of your character like this. Use that for your LoRa training. It'll be more consistent and even work in Flux. You can use it for different camera angles, generate that as an image, and bring the image here. We've got one 2.0 image to video. Enable different angles of your character, keep the styles consistent. You can do it with just this workflow, using the Model 360 Rotation LoRa models to quickly generate all different images with different angles. So yeah, that's it for this video. A quick way to make your own character LoRa dataset using AI videos especially one 2.1 and rotation LoRa models to help you speed up the process of making your LoRa dataset. That's it for this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.